Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Akar Singh, as you might know. Uh, before we begin the course of computer science for 11th grade, uh, now please note that this is CBSE 11th grade. If we are going to start the course, first of all, we need to understand what we will study in this course. So this video is for the syllabus of class 11th. Uh, before we begin, just a quick introduction. My name is Akash Singh. I graduated as an engineer from IIT Bombay and I'm currently working as a software engineer for a US startup. So if you have any kind of doubts, you can post comments in my videos or you can also attend the live sessions. So straight to the point, syllabus at the end of 11th standard, what will you be able to do? So first thing that you will be able to do is develop computational thinking. Now computational thinking is nothing but how to solve problems. Agar aapko koi problem diya gaya hai, what are the various ways that you can adopt to solve those problems? Ab data types dekhoge. Now hum log generally din mein kaafi types of data dekhte hai, right? Audio data hota hai, video data hota hai. But in terms of computer language, the data types are integers, strings. Strings ka basically matlab hota hai jo hum words use karte hai, alphabets. Binary, boolean, etc. So there will be upcoming videos jahan par abhi hum log ye sab cheeze dekhenge. You will also understand what algorithms are. So algorithm is nothing but code. Hum log yahan par python programming dekhenge in your class 11th and all these things like cyber ethics so you already 10th grade mein kiya tha, log if you remember properly the value of technology in societies and we will also develop a basic understanding of computer systems like computer mein different type of hardware hote hai, right monitor cpu ram uh, processors etc so all these things jo hai aapko ye sab samajh mein aayengi after you finish the 11th grade and then you begin with the 12th grade so let's have a look ki aap kya kya kar sakte ho after your 11th. So now you might have seen AP, arithmetic progression hota hai, GP, geometric progression hota hai. So in sa, ye sab jo mathematical concepts hai, aap generally hath se solve karte ho, aap pen or paper leke aap manually solve karte ho. But in this course, you will be able to develop programs in Python which you quickly solve solve quickly. Apart from that, you will also be able to develop some patterns. These are quite interesting. You have practicals in it. You will ask this all. Right? So first of all, before we begin to understand what your syllabus is covering, let's quickly understand the distribution of marks. If you see the first one, which is unit one, computer systems and organization, it is only just for 10 marks, computational thinking and programming. This has the majority of your portion, 45 marks. So because it's a very big unit, you will not ask only one term, term one or term two will divide. So what this basically means, this is your coding part. Jahan par aap Python ka introduction seekh hoge. You will understand how you can develop algorithms and programs. And the third one is society law and ethics. This is coming for your 15 marks. Again, agar aap class 10th mein aapka course 065 tha, which was computer applications, you might understand the importance of cyber ethics. That was the unit there. So you might See now, the most important unit is computational thinking and programming. Aapka jo entire computer science hai, that generally revolves around aapka jo programming ka understanding hai, understanding hai, or Python. Theek hai, so let's have a look at unit one first, which is computer systems and organization. So, isse pehle aap coding start karo, aap programming start karo, aap programs develop karna start karo. You need to understand ये जो कंप्यूटर्स होते हैं ये जो आपके सामने हैंडहेल्ड डिवाइसेस हैं आपके जो मोबाइल फोन्स हैं ये काम कैसे करते हैं सो फॉर दिस यू विल बी रीडिंग अबाउट बेसिक कंप्यूटर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हार्डवेयर सॉफ्टवेयर हम लोग ने 7th 8th 9th स्टैंडर्ड में पढ़ते आ रहे हैं टाइप्स ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर राइट एप्लीकेशंस होती हैं आपके मोबाइल में डाउनलोड होते हैं आपके पीसीस में सॉफ्टवेयर डाउनलोड होता है 
we will be looking at operating systems also operating system example windows jo microsoft ka hai mac os jo apple ka hai android which is used for your mobile devices so these are the examples of operating systems now these are quite easy if you ask me aapko zyada dhyan nahi dena padega in sab cheezon pe kyunki if you have an interest in computers you will be able to do this but the important part comes here which is boolean logic and number system hum logo ne mathematics mein addition subtraction multiplication and division padha hai right so we all know ki ye sab jo questions hai kaise solve karta hai similarly boolean logic is nothing but a new kind of mathematics which you will be studying boolean logic mostly revolves around these two words true and false so these are the kind of mathematical concepts in computer science that you will be learning and the last one is number system so if you understand 1 2 3 4 what are these these are your decimal system numbers decimal isko kyu bola jata hai because it has 10 digits 10 digits from 0 to 9 but there are different other kinds of number systems as well लाइक like, आपका जीरो एंड वन जो होता है हम लोग उसको बाइनरी बोलते हैं जहां पर आपका जीरो टू सेवन यूज होता है उसको हम लोग ऑक्टल बोलते हैं सो डोंट गेट कंफ्यूज कि ये कैसे करेंगे व्हेन टाइम कम्स यू विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड ऑल दीज थिंग्स बिकॉज आई बी टेकिंग सेशंस ऑन दिस ठीक है सो दिस इज योर यूनिट वन विच इज कमिंग फॉर योर टेन मार्क्स राइट सो लेट्स लुक एट यूनिट टू विच इज योर मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट यूनिट coming for 45 marks uh, so please don't get scared ki ye 45 marks ka hai iska kitna importance hoga now the thing about computer science is ki aap agar usme regular ho regular bhi nahi hai if you just have an interest in computers agar aapko gaming karna acha lagta hai ya probably if you like photo editing or video editing i think this course is for you so the first step in understanding any coding language is how to solve problems so let's say if if i tell you that my pc is not working right agar aapke paas ye ek problem hai so aap kitne ways mein isko solve kar sakte ho now probably most of you would restart the computer that is one way aap apna pc refresh kar sakte ho that is another way aap apna pc update kar sakte ho that is another way so how you try to solve a problem that is what problem solving means theek hai so aapka jo प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग केपेबिलिटी अगर आप जेई पढ़ रहे हो या फिर एनी अदर कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जामिनेशन अगर आप उसके लिए प्रिपेयर कर रहे हो देन दिस स्टेप विल हेल्प यू लॉट ओके सो नेक्स्ट वन इज बेसिक्स ऑफ प्रोग्रामिंग सो हम लोग जो पाइथन कोडिंग लैंग्वेज है वो पढ़ेंगे इसमें इट विल बी स्टार्टिंग विद अ सिंपल प्रोग्राम जहां पर आप चीजें प्रिंट करना चालू करोगे ठीक है आफ्टर दैट यू विल अंडरस्टैंड various data types as we discussed in the start of the session hum log various data types ke par bare mein padhne wale hain like numbers strings matlab alphabets ho gaya aapka dictionaries lists etc apart from that we will also understand operator expressions introduction to python modules now these come a bit later i think ye aapka term 2 mein pucha jayega but this part will be coming in your term 1 theek hai नेक्स्ट इज यूनिट थ्री विच इज सिनोनिमस विद योर साइबर एथिक्स क्लास टेंथ में हम लोगों ने जो पढ़ा था वी विल बी स्टडिंग अबाउट वेरियस डेफिनेशन लाइक इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी साइबर क्राइम हैकिंग हाउ टू स्टे सेफ ऑन द इंटरनेट हाउ टू सेफली एक्सेस वेबसाइट आपका जो ई वेस्ट है आप कैसे मैनेज करते हो ई वेस्ट का मतलब होता है अगर आपका टेन ईयर्स ओल्ड पी सी खराब हो गया या फिर फिफ्टीन ईयर ओल्ड प्रॉब्लली कोई भी इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवाइस खराब हो गया आप उसको रिसाइकिल कैसे करोगे Apart from that, we will also understand IT Act क्या है इंडिया में Information Technology Act जो होता है उसके बारे में हम लोग पढ़ेंगे Technology and Society these are so this entire unit is generally like your SST topic SST एस टॉपिक एस एस टी का जो आपका सब्जेक्ट है उससे रिलेटेड है थोड़ा कि हाउ टेक्नोलॉजी एंड सोसाइटी इज रिलेटेड एंड इफ यू रिमेंबर एटिकेट्स हम लोगों ने पढ़ा था दैट विल बी द फर्स्ट थिंग विच यू विल बी कवरिंग इन यूनिट थ्री now this unit is coming for your 15 marks most probably it will be asked in your term 2 examinations 
right so this is about your theory let's look at the practical part so whenever you will be asked to create a practical agar aapko koi bhi program likhne ke liye bola jaye it the marks for the program will not only be carried jo aapne code kiya pc pe you will also have 20% documentation and 20% code quality in simpler terms aapko probably ho sakta hai ek register ya fir kuch written theory submit karna pade along with your python program and this file plus the viva will be of 10 marks so this might depend ki aapka school ye sab practicals kab conduct karega probably at the start of the session ya fir at the end of the session theek hai so all these practicals will also be covered in this channel which is cs made easy uh, let me tell you a few examples ki aapko kaise questions puche ja sakte hain so aapko bola ja sakta hai please recreate this pattern ya fir agar aapko aisa pattern print karna hai now most of you might be thinking main directly type kar sakta hu uh but in computer science jab aap cheezon ko manually karte ho right agar aapko probably let me give an example agar mere ko yahan par probably 100 lines print karni hai you can't do that manually so at that point of time computer science helps you coding helps you and in this case particularly python will help you theek hai another type of question that can be asked to you is solve these अगर आपको x की कोई भी वैल्यू दी है थ्री एंड दिस इज द क्वेश्चन दैट यू बिन गिवन आप डायरेक्टली वो पाइथन कोड यूज करके सॉल्व कर सकते हो ठीक है अगर आप जेई के लिए पढ़ रहे हो आई थिंक यू माइट कम अक्रॉस दिस सूनर और लेटर ठीक है सो दिस वाज अबाउट द एंटायर सिलेबस ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस फॉर इलेवेंथ स्टैंडर्ड नाउ इफ यू हैव डाउट्स यू कैन कमेंट इन दिस वीडियो एंड प्लीज डू नॉट फर्गेट टू लाइक द वीडियो वंस I think probably today or tomorrow uh, we'll have the first session for computer science, which is computer systems. जहाँ पर हम लोग देखेंगे आपका RAM क्या होता है, ROM क्या होता है, how is a CPU made, how is a gaming CPU better than normal CPUs. So please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. I'll be seeing you in the next one. Till then, stay awesome. Bye bye.